Welcome back. Portugal tightened passenger entry requirements and mandated masks indoors to curb an upward trend in coronavirus infections. As the country with one of the strongest vaccination records in Europe entered a state of calamity today. The crisis declaration, Portugal's second this year, is one step below a state of emergency and gives the government the legal authority to impose stricter measures without parliamentary approval. Masks are now required in enclosed public spaces and individuals must show proof of vaccination having recovered from COVID-19 or a negative virus test has to enter restaurants, cinemas, gyms, and hotels. From Black Friday to Cyber Monday, the days following Thanksgiving are some of the busiest shopping days of the year. But online shoppers beware, it's almost time for the busiest cyber threat and scam time of the year. Jade Flurry spoke with the Better Business Bureau. Since the pandemic started, there are more people online shopping than ever before. We have seen a huge increase in the amount of online scams. They're losing money more often. Northeast Director for the Better Business Bureau, Susan Bach, warns shoppers to use trusted websites. If you are shopping online, to stick with those tried and true websites, the ones that you've used before. There are some red flags to look out for when shopping online. Are they advertising? a low, low price on a really hot toy, you know, one of those too good to be true deals. Box says another red flag, websites that don't have any contact information. Are there spelling and grammatical errors? Um, is it a secure website? So does the URL address start with HTTPS? The S means secure. Bach also says using a credit card to shop online is the safest form of payment. But your credit card really has the most consumer protections in case um, the product never shows up or it's not as advertised. Shoppers can dispute fraudulent transactions on credit cards. That means leaving your debit card in your wallet for online shopping. Your debit card does not have as many consumer protections. Also, only traditional payment options should be asked or one of those peer-to-peer -peer payment apps like uh, Venmo or Cash App, those are signs of a red flag. Those types of payments cannot be reversed. You're also urged to make sure your computer is up to date on virus protection programs. That way, if you do visit a bad website, you can catch any virus or malware that may be trying to infect your computer. Well, go get yourself a glass of milk because today with Howard in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen, we're serving up some Christmas cookie cups. Stay tuned.